Today I took a drive over to Steve's so that I could sell some of the scrap parts we had. We then went to the store to pick up some engine parts for Dennis's Bel Air. Once I got these parts, I took a drive over to the furniture store because I felt the need for another table at our shop. So we picked up the table and we headed back to our shop. I decided to do a little bit of reverse parking just to make the unloading a little bit easier. Hello everybody and welcome back to My Garage Revivals. Right, so this morning, uh, yes, as you can see, I came to get some new tires fitted to the wheels of the little Neva. Because uh, the chunky tires are a little too big for the arches. And yes, I also tried the wheels on our shop truck over here. Uh, hence, we've got the spare tire on. So yes, uh, even those wheels didn't really fit our little Neva. So for that reason, I just decided to come and buy four new tires. So yeah, we've got uh, pretty much four tires just going to be kicking around at the moment. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in and we're going to drive back to our shop and see if these wheels are going to fit a little bit better. And yes, we also have got a little bit of work to do still to Dennis's um, Chevy Bell Air. So yeah, let's uh, head back to the shop and see what we still need to sort out today. Alright, and we are back at our shop, and yes, I think we can pretty much just uh, mount these wheels to our little Neva again. Uh, so obviously I had to uh, put some other wheels on it for the time being. Uh, but yes, this is uh, pretty much what the other wheels looked like on the Neva. And you can already tell that they are way too big for the arches. So yes, we are going to be mounting these ones. Uh, if I can just find the... Uh, toolbox uh oh there it is under the table all right let's get our wrench and let's see if these wheels and tires are going to fit a little bit better all right i think this is going to be best if we just get this out of the way straight off the bat all right there we go it's a little bit dark under here so let me maybe just turn on the lights over here Ah, there we go. All right, let's get that other back wheel removed over here again. So this is uh, pretty much going back on our shop truck at some point. So yeah, we'll see uh, when I'm going to do this. I don't think I'm going to do it today. So yeah, we'll just uh, keep the spare tire on there for now. All right, let's grab another one. Let's quickly get this one fitted as well. Obviously, they are going to need some air. So we'll air them up as well after we mounted all of them. All right, let's go over to the other side over here quickly. Let's just get it lifted up. There we go. All right, and let's take another wheel off here. All right, let's just... Uh, Put these back on a stack over here. All right, that is a little bit wobbly. Let's just put them next to it for now. All right, and let's also remove this one. Okay, and let's just put it on a stack here for now as well. All right, let's go and grab the other two. And yeah, I'll make a plan with the rest of the tires at some point. Because we are running a little bit of our space for extra wheels and tires to be laying around the shop. Alright, and let's go and grab the last one here quickly. Over there. Okay, let's just move this one inward a bit and get the tailgate shut. Alright, let's go and mount the last wheel. And there we go. 
All right, let's bolt these down. And there we go. All right, so now let's just quickly get, grab our air pump and see if we can air these tires up as well. All right, let's just put this back on the shelf and put our wrench back in the toolbox and grab the air pump. All right, so let's get some air in these wheels. All right, well, that looks much better. We've got the proper size tires back on this thing. I uh, did think these ones were a little too small, but I think it actually fits very well. And yeah, there we go. We've got brand new tires in the right size for our little Neva. And I think that is going to pretty much uh, improve the condition of the overall dry drivability of the vehicle. So yeah, that is uh, pretty much also another vehicle we're going to be working on still is our Neva in this episode. So we want to see how long this is going to take. And if we are going to be getting to all these parts on the table here as well. But first, we are going to try and sort out the engine for this Chevy Bel Air. So I did go ahead and order a new starter as well. Or actually bought a new starter from the store as well. So that is the first part we are going to be quickly mounting. So let's just get this back on to the transmission over here. And then there we go. Now we've got a brand new starter as well. All right, so yeah, I think we've got pretty much everything that we need uh, to get this engine sorted out. So let's start with our header over here, just getting this mounted. And then, yeah, I've already got the socket wrench here. So let's grab the socket, uh, well, spark plugs, and just uh, get the spark plugs mounted. All right, so we'll pop that down. Let's get these ones out of the box as well. All right, and there we have it. All right, so let me get all these spark plugs into place and then we can pretty much just zip them all down. All right, so I've got all the spark plugs in place. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten all of them down. And then we will continue putting the rest of the parts onto this engine. So I did check the air filter already, so that is actually fine in case you have been wondering. So yes, we are pretty much good to get this engine put back together so that we can physically put it back into the car all right so yes in other words i also uh, painted this valve cover or rocker cover in orange that we had uh, so this was actually the orange from cyclones uh, truck when we painted the one wheel rim that we had to replace so it's not really the right color for the engine but i think it just matches a little bit better all right and Let's go around this side for these bolts. And I think there's one more up here. All right, I think that's all of them. Let me just double check. Yeah, that looks good. All right, perfect. And then we are going to grab our cooling fan. Uh, actually, wait, let's get the alternator and the belt on first. All right, so we've got our uh, plug wires as well. Let's just slap these on. All right, now we'll grab the alternator. Our alternator goes over here. Let's bolt it down. And let's grab the alternator belt. And then we will grab the oil filter. It goes on there. And then it's our cooling fan at the front. All right, let's zip these down. All right, so what I'm going to do is we are going to be able to mount this engine with the exhausts fitted. So let's just get these into place as well. And then it's just a matter of getting the actual clutch plate and also the pressure plate mounted. So this is a brand new pressure plate as well. So let's get that into place and all these bolts. All right. There we go. Let's... Uh, get it a little bit closer here all right let's turn it around this way okay and there and yeah that looks like all of them so we are pretty much good to get this engine back into the car 
So yeah, then it's just a matter of putting fluids into this engine and then I think everything should work out very well for us. So let me quickly drop this engine into here. All right, and bolt everything down. And I think we should be pretty much done once we have put all the fluids in. All right, let's go around the other side. All right, so there's two bolts over here. Let's forget, let's not forget the engine mount. All right. And did I tighten the earth cable? Uh, let me just double check on that if I was able to get it. Yes, we do. Okay, so that is snug and our alternator is snug. Everything is pretty much as good as it's going to get. All right, so last but not least, our fuel line will definitely have to go on. And then I just hope this engine is going to fire up once we try and turn it over now. All right, so there's the fuel line. And zip it down. Perfect. All right, so this was our extra wrench we had in a little Neva over there. So that is pretty much good to go uh, for future work as well. All right, let's get this uh, oil cap removed and also the fluid cap for the radiator. And yes, let me do the fluids quickly and then I'll bring you guys back up to speed. All right, so our coolant is topped off and now it's pretty much just the oil. So yeah, I think pretty much all three of these bottles should fit into the engine without a problem. And yes, we are currently empty. All right, so let me get this filled up as well. Okay, so there we go. We've got our oil filled up and we've got our coolant filled up. I think it's time to see if this thing is going to fire up now. So yeah, that actually went uh, quite quick. I wasn't sure if we were going to do this uh, during the whole episode. So that means we've got a little bit more time to spend on our little Neva over there. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. All right, that is sounding very good. Okay, so I think what we can do now is finally move this thing off from our lift because I think it's time for us to bring our little Neva over here so that we can start working on that. So let's just see if this car actually drives. Yeah, it doesn't drive too bad. And the brakes, they do work. Alright, I actually wonder if this thing has got enough power to smoke the tires. Nope, doesn't look like it does. Yeah, well, that was to be expected. But yes, we've got a, a lot of used parts in this engine. So we are going to try and, yeah, not break it again before we get this back to Dennis. So yeah, I think uh, this is pretty much a job well done. And I think that Dennis is going to be much happier now that he's got a working car again. All right, I think, yeah, let's just park it here behind our shop truck because we would like to try and get the Neva pulled up onto the lift. So I think this is a, a good spot for this at the moment. All right, so let's jump out and just give this thing another look. And I think that is uh, definitely a car with the most character I've seen in a while. So yes, this is uh, actually going to be sad to see this uh, vehicle called Dennis the Menace. Or Dennis's Menace. I'm not sure if that is exactly what it's referring to. But yes, this vehicle is back up and running. And I think everything is pretty much as good as it's going to get with the budget that was given to us. Alright, so here we are at our little Neva over here. Which we've got to uh, pretty much do a little bit of engine work. So... I'm not too sure if it's going to be possible to do this in the car, so I think it's better to just pull it around, get it up on the lift, and then also we can start working on the engine. So I think that is going to be what we do now. I'm going to see if this still fires up. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so let's get this thing up onto the lift. Let's be sure not to crash into our shop truck. And we also don't want to crash into the Chevy Bel Air we just parked. 
All right, that is working out quite well so far. All right, so a little bit of other news. Our Pontiac Firebird has been sent to auction. So we are still waiting for the funds to clear. Um, not exactly sure when that money will come to us. So I'm not even sure on the actual amount that the vehicle is selling for yet. So I guess we will figure it out once that is ready. All right, so yeah, here we go. I think we should have actually nosedived this thing. But we are going to be working on suspension as well, so that is fine. I'll just uh, pull it nice and close to the table, and our doors can open without bashing against the lift. All right, so there we go. All right, so first things first, we need to try and rip this engine out. So it should be fairly easy because this is only a little inline four. So I think what I'm going to start with is just getting the exhaust uh, unbolted. Um, obviously it's on the other side. All right, so let's get this exhaust unbolted over there. And then see if we can get it out from under here. This actually looks like the wrong exhaust for this. Although, but it, it sort of works. So yeah, I'm not going to go ahead and you know, swap out parts if it's not absolutely necessary on this thing just yet. All right, so, yeah, we've got a couple of things to loosen up here. All right, and the engine mount. Okay, and let's go around this side. All right, a bolt over there. And then I think it's just the ones on the transmission and then obviously the fuel line. And then we should be able to get this engine removed um, just get a right angle over here. All right, fuel line. Let's just put that on the floor and then we'll grab this little engine. All right, let's put it up on our engine stand over here. Get it bolted down. So yeah, I noticed that um, peeking through that little uh, dipstick hole that we've got a little bit of uh, rustiness going on in the inside of our engine. So I think we are going to probably find a bank bad crankshaft in this engine. So I think it's just best to tear it all the way apart. And then obviously uh, get a new crankshaft mounted with new pistons. Because it would just make sense to do that while we are pretty much as far as we are going with this engine. Alright, so let's get this oil pan taken off. And then I'm sure what we will find there is going to be a very rusty and crusty crankshaft. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see when this thing decides to pop off. Uh, obviously, there are some bolts along the front and back as well. All right, so let's see. Yep, just as I expected. We've got a decent looking oil pan at least. And our pistons, they don't look that bad. But I think uh, it's just best to pretty much replace everything. All right, so let's start with our clutch and pressure plate on this side first before we go and strip the uh, top half of the engine so let's just see what this is all about all right so yeah we've got a second table now so this is very nice come on let me just uh, put that down okay and then we've got our clutch plate which is different to the ones from the v8 so but that one is still quite okay all right, let's get our flywheel removed over here. These six bolts. Okay, and there's our flywheel. Let's just see how bad this is. Nah, it's not too bad. That still kind of would work for a while. All right, so we are going to replace the water pump. So this cooling fan on here. Come on, let it pop off. There we go. All right, so this will be going onto our replacement water pump over here on the table. Okay, and then we'll get the old one removed. But I think let's first take this old alternator belt off. So we do have a new one of these as well. Yeah, that one doesn't look too bad either way. So we could probably have replaced uh, or just reuse the old one. All right, let's get this uh, little pulley removed. Yeah, it still looks okay for the moment. All right, and the alternator... Let's get this off as well. 
Yeah, that might not last too long, but I think, yeah, while we still have it and it still works, we'll just keep it around. All right, so water pump. Um, actually, I don't really need to remove the water pump because it's coming off with the cylinder head we are going to be replacing. So we can just leave that on there for now. All right, so here's our exhaust manifold. Doesn't look too bad. Well, the header, actually, this is the manifold. So I'm not going to remove the manifold, the exhaust manifold. We're going to take off the intake manifold, though. Okay, and got a, another bolt over here. Okay, so that is pretty much with our carburetor. All right, so do we have a good air cleaner in this thing? Because we do have a replacement air filter as well so this one isn't too bad so we might keep that around uh there's no use chucking things if they are still in fair condition all right so let's get this bolted down again okay so that's our intake pretty much ready to rock and roll all right so we don't need to remove the starter because the starter is still fine we're going to rip off this valve cover and just see what the timing chain looks like as well under here all right so we've got a bad timing chain which is something that i don't see over here so that is something that they didn't buy by the looks of it so looks like we are gonna just reuse the old rusty one for now all right are we gonna be able to remove it okay yeah that is a uh, looking a little bit tired i hope it's still gonna work for the time being all right let's hunker down over here let's get our uh distributor removed uh there we go all right so that is still looking okay so we can still reuse that and then this ignition coil we're going to be replacing so let's get this removed all right so that is pretty much scrap all right, now I think we are ready to take this cylinder head off because we've got a new camshaft in our replacement cylinder head and we also have got a new head gasket going on here. All right, let's just be sure to tighten and loosen the right stuff over here. All right, so yeah, that is pretty much all of our spark plugs worn as well on this head. We've got a good camshaft by the looks of it still. So that's maybe a part we can strip off before we scrap this thing. All right, so let's take a look at our head gasket. Yeah, this is definitely uh, on its last legs. Well, it has actually has blown. So that is uh, definitely a good thing. We are changing the head gasket on this. But I think first let's get our crankshaft removed with all these pistons. So I'm not going to bother removing the pistons. We'll just yank the crankshaft out with all the pistons still attached just like this all right so do we do have some good pistons here which we can probably strip off so i think we're just gonna set this on the shelf for now and then yeah i think it's pretty much as far as we need to strip everything off here uh, except for our oil filter over here let's just get this removed as well and that is also a very good thing we are replacing this okay perfect right so up next i would like to get the crankshaft mounted so this is a little bit of an upgrade i'm not sure what we had in here it's probably a stock crankshaft so we are putting in a little bit of a better one which is a high performance uh, crankshaft and also these pistons are high performance pistons which is actually a very good thing. All right, and then we'll grab these as well. All right, let's get all of these mounted. Can probably pop them in from this side and you just go and uh, tighten the bolts. Okay, so it's this one and also that one. And then we've got our oil pan down here. Perfect. All right, and then we'll come around this side and just bolt all of these down. And let's not forget the rear ones, otherwise this oil pan is gonna leak. 
and there we go that is our oil pan back on to the vehicle all right so let's get our flywheel fitted back here and get the clutch plate back on and then we'll get our pressure plate mounted again all right there we go okay so that is pretty much everything there all right let's come and grab our head gasket okay that is looking good all right there we go all right and bolt that down and there we go all right so now we're gonna have to replace this uh, crusty old timing chain which we could actually have gone to the shop to buy a new one now but i think we should be fine for a while with that one so yeah i'll just uh, bear that in mind when i'm using the vehicle that we need to replace the timing chain at some point so that might be a little bit of a service we need to do again on this engine at some point so yeah i think we'll sort that out it's not hard to get to it so that is okay for now all right so brand new water pump oh no come on all right water pump there we go and then the alternator goes over here and over there we've got a bolt and let's put our pulley back all right and get our new alternator belt fitted just like that okay so now it's pretty much our intake there we go and then we've got pretty much our ignition coil uh, which goes over here all right and there's our fuel pump that is still tightened down so that is good all right so now i think it's time to just do the spark plugs before we uh forget about those uh let's just get this uh filter on all right so there's the spark plugs we've got four of those let's just get them into place over here all right and the last one perfect all right so now where did i put that spark plug wrench it's probably back in the toolbox let me just get it out of here there we go all right and let's zip these down all right and then get our distributor fitted over there let's bolt that down okay and then let's get those back on and yes i think that is pretty much everything if i'm not mistaken except for our exhaust manifold which is actually laying here on the floor just come and grab this as well put it back on the engine and zip it down just like that and then we can get our header fitted again all right just like this and that is perfect all right so up next i wanted to come and check this uh, fuel line first of all so this one is used it still works but i think we've got a new one so we'll just rather put the new one on so let's get this engine dropped back into the car and then we are gonna pretty much change over the radiator hoses all right so let's be sure to bolt all of these bolts back down there we go and then we've got bolts on this side as well so on the starter we've got our ground the four on the transmission the alternator and the engine mount okay that is fairly decent all right so we've got radiator hoses so we'll take both of them off because we've got two brand new ones if i'm not mistaken and we are going to do a little bit of cleanup afterwards all right so that's the lower one that's the upper one so let's get this mounted as well 
All right, bolt that down. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad, but it's just uh, better to replace it anyway. All right, so we'll put that on a shelf somewhere, I guess. All right, let's uh, get this mounted as well. Bolt it down. All right, so there we go. Now, what I would like to do is pretty much see if we can get our fuel hose or fuel line put that into the engine bay over here. All right, so this goes somewhere over here. Okay, let's zip that down. All right, so I think that is pretty much most of the engine work. Well, no, it's pretty much all of the engine work sorted for now. So I think what I would still like to do is get these blinks mounted and then, yeah, we're going to see if we can pretty much get our um, front drive shaft mounted and maybe our front shock absorbers. And then, yeah, what we can do for the next episode, we are going to pretty much strip the worn suspension parts off of this thing. And we will also probably be getting our next customer vehicle in, which is a Lada sedan race car, which needs a little bit of bodywork. Or actually it needs uh, quite a bit of bodywork. But yeah, I guess you uh, just pretty much have to wait and see when that vehicle is actually here. So they are going to be bringing us a little bit of parts as well. He said he did send it with a courier service. So that'll hopefully also arrive uh, by the time the car gets here. But I guess we will find out. Alright, so yeah, we've got two clear blinkers mounted now. That just... Uh, modernizes the vehicle a little bit it doesn't look too bad okay so we've got a quite a bit of uh spare parts and some rubbish parts also we need to chuck chuck some point all right so let's get our handbrake down and i'm just gonna push it forward slightly uh, i think that should do all right let's get these arms under the car all right, like that. Because now I just like to do the uh, front shocks and also the front drive shaft. Okay, so let's see what it does if we lift this thing up now. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so let's quickly get our front shock absorbers replaced as well. And also get our front drive shaft mounted here. All right, so this shock absorber doesn't look too bad, but we are going to replace it because obviously it's better to just do both of them at the same time. All right, so there's the one. Yeah, we'll just keep it around for the time being. All right, and let's get this bolted back down. And then obviously this one is the one that we really need to replace. Uh, let's just come around this side. There we go. We've got our other worn shock absorber, which is pretty much trash. So we'll throw that out. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is the new one. Let's get this one fitted on this side. Uh, over there. Okay. And then we've got pretty much just the two bolts on this. And zip that down. Okay. All right, last but not least, we are going to get our front drive shaft mounted over here. I think that is pretty much going to make this vehicle four-wheel drive again. All right, so let's uh, get our exhaust mounted again. Uh, this goes over there, bolts down on the flange, and then there we go. Right, so this exhaust system is not really the correct one for the car. It looks a little bit low, in my opinion, but we might actually have to replace the exhaust at some point with the correct one. It just depends. All right, let's lower this thing down again. So I think it's time to sort out a couple of fluids and make sure that we can pretty much start this car and move it around if we have to. All right, let's get these arms out of the way for now. And then I think we are going to pretty much just do fluids. So I'll bring you guys back up to speed once that is done. 
All right, so our oil has been topped off, but for some reason, uh, I can't seem to find the oil filler cap over here. Uh, so I may have dropped it somewhere. It might be under the car somewhere. I don't know, but yeah, that's not going to be a train smash really. Uh, but yes, I still need to do the f uh, f coolant. So that is uh, one thing that we need to do before I try and fire this thing up. So let's uh, get this radiator filled up. All right, so there we have it. We've got our fluids all topped off. And I think everything should be pretty much good enough to start this engine now. I don't want to run it too long because obviously I still need to find the oil filler cap. So let's just move it a little bit forward over here so that we can open our door. All right, there we go. That is perfect. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see if everything checks out. All right, so yes, she started up quite easily. And I think, yeah, that sounds very good. But now, obviously, we are going to have to replace the dashboard in this thing. We're going to do some interior work as well at some point. Uh, but our cluster over here seems to be broken, which is uh, not really a good thing. So we might have to just get a replacement for that as well. But yes, that is uh, pretty much our Lada Neva and the state it's in currently. We've still got a ton of work actually to the suspension over here. But it shouldn't take too long. It's just a matter of getting all the parts and making sure we replace it. But yes, I think uh, what I can do for the rest of the day before the sun goes down is just clean up the shop a little bit. But I do think that is going to be a wrap for this episode as well. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate every view, every like. And also, I wanted to ask if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I will appreciate it very much. But yes, until the next time, cheerio.